Okay, welcome fellow synth guitar lovers. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you eight patches that I've programmed on the SY1000 that are available to download for free. Uh, this is going to be a relatively short video where I just show you the sounds. Uh, then I'll be doing um, a bit more of an in-depth video to show you some tips and tricks on how to create your own sounds. But this should give you a pretty good idea of some of the capabilities. So really quickly, I'm going to run you through some of the sounds and tell you a little bit about what's happening. This very first one is uh, pitch bending. So like a B bender of a Telecaster guitar, uh, I've programmed this to do the same concept except with the expression pedals. Let's check this out. Lots of delay and reverb. Now what's really cool about that is the voicing when I depress the pedal. That's actually impossible to play on the guitar because it's a piano voicing uh, and that just shows you that you can manipulate every string individually, uh, which I just think is really cool. Right, this next patch um, is called In Love With You. So you either think I'm a big romantic or maybe I've been inspired by a famous guitarist and a famous track. So see if you can figure it out from the example. Here we go. Okay, so that's using, let's just quickly go into here. You'll see I'm using the GR300. Um, and uh, if I edit that just ever so slightly for a second, you'll see that um, we're using the envelope uh, sensitivity. On top of that, uh, we are, let's go into this, we're using something called a wave pedal, which can oscillate the sound depending on a particular tempo that you predetermine. Um, and that's what's happening in this patch. It's really cool. If I turn that off, it's just a nice kind of filtered synth sound. Okay, then I put the humanizer effect on there which, as well, which is pretty cool. Have a listen to this. Pretty fun. All right, this one's really cool. This is very synthy and there's lots going on. So again, I'm using an expression pedal on my foot here. Have a listen to how it changes the, the tone. So I'm moving the uh, expression pedal here and that's changing the cutoff. So I've assigned the expression pedal to change the cutoff frequency. Check this out, on the guitar there is the switch buttons and I've allocated them to change the octave. Have a listen to this. So you can get that kind of Rage Against the Machine effect. As in just kind of tapping the guitar, I mean. Um, and then the other one, it's going up an octave. So you can get lots of different um, octaves. Also, you can blend the regular pickup. So at the moment, let's go in here real quick. Yeah, I'm just using two of the GR300s just to kind of give it to a fat sound, right? If I turn my volume up, I've got another tone, which is pretty cool. So. So that's fun. Uh, here's a cool one. This is um, with a, this is a synth sound, but with a very short attack, kind of like Stevie Wonder esque. You know, you could play like add a bit of uh, 
phaser or something. But actually, that's an auto wire. Then you can add the guitar again to that. Now, on this patch, I just reminded myself that I was able to allow the synth to only be used on the bottom four strings and then have the guitar only on the top two. So I can do stuff like this. So there's another uh, example of some of the things you can do. All right, just four more sounds left for this quick video. Eight string variations. So, you know, as you can tune any string up two octaves or down two octaves, I thought it would be fun to kind of mimic the variations of eight string. Okay, so this first one, I've got the top four strings in regular tuning. Then I've got the E and the A tuned down an octave as if you had eight strings and you were playing the eighth and the seventh string as an E and an A, right? So you can play like a D minor chord, for example. And you've got that octave down. Okay, so that spreads things out. As I hit the control one, it's now going to change these six strings down to the low six strings of a regularly tuned eight string guitar, as in low F sharp, B, E, A, D, G, etc. So check this out. back to the so of course you can play around with these and, and manipulate them as you wish the final variation if I hit control 2 is um, an 8 string guitar from a low B to a high A okay so that's pretty cool so So I think some players like to have a high A. I believe uh, Rusty Cooley did that for a while. I remember years ago him doing that. It's kind of cool. Um, So that's some variations of an eight string guitar and different tunings. Bearing in mind, of course, if you're a fan of acoustic guitar playing and stuff, there's some great acoustic models in here and you can manipulate all the tunings. For example, if you're, let's say a Joni Mitchell fan or something and you love experimenting with tunings, you could save 200 different tunings if you can think of that many and uh, store them in the SY1000. All right, moving on, a couple more left. So this one's very interesting because the top string, as in the high E or F in my case, is gonna trigger the delay to come in. So there's lots of delay in this track, but um, you'll hear lots of feedback happen when I hit the high string, so. <laughs> as I hit the high string, listen to the difference. Did you see I hit the high string again and it stopped that feedback? So here's another cool thing. Um, if I use um, the buttons here, it turns on and off certain things. But here's something that you may not know. This is a great feature in a lot of Boss products that has come out in the last, you know, however many years, five years or something. A feature called Current Number. 
on on this patch when I hit that button um, it will bring in other effects in this instance it's the slicer the guitar amp is engaged and uh, what else um, I can't remember but let's have a listen so if I play an open chord So that's really cool and pretty pretty unique and just to say you can program any string to you can assign it to do anything you like I just happen to make it be the slicer the guitar amp and I think even a filtered EQ or something like that pretty cool anyway only two left um, above the clouds again this is just a simple acoustic -y thing with a bit of synth in the background <laughs> Now the final patch, uh, I like this one, Snarly Kitty, uh, basically inspired by some snarky puppy, they have an awful name, but never mind. Um, so this, I like this patch because I'm trying to mimic how keyboard players use the modulation wheel. So for example, as they're playing, uh, they have the pitch bend up a tone usually, but there's also the other way of getting modulation, um, you know, at a particular tempo which is kind of cool so uh, let me just show you that um, bending first now this is difficult because I would normally do it with my foot but I've got it up here so you can see what's happening so let me see what I can do here <laughs> so that works with um, you know polyphonic chords as well if I play an octave here And if I pray control two, that's the modulation. I've also got an octave programmed on the switch here. One thing to say here is obviously there's no tracking issues because uh, slip there at the end. There's no tracking issues because we're not trying to convert audio to MIDI or whatever like that. This is a signal processed synth, so it's. Uh, practically instantaneous you know it feels very natural uh, and the final thing I mentioned earlier about current number is when I press and that means just to reiterate um, whatever number you've saved the patch, this is 2.4, um, it will be the same button. So let's say I'd save this to 5.1, I'd be pressing number one in order to get whatever the current number feature is. Again, as I mentioned, I'll be doing another video soon where I actually show you how to program some of these things. But this is just a basic introduction to some of these sounds, which remember are free to download um, from Boss Tone Central. Um, 
yeah anyway this current number i've set to again go up and down a tone to be the other side of the jog wheel you know so like this so it's like remember if it was on the floor it'd be a lot easier i could do it with my foot and uh, do some cool effects but so you get the idea i hope so um you know this little package of sounds i called uh, pushing the envelope because what i'm trying to show is you know just the amount of things you can do uh with this to, to really get your mind thinking of of the possibilities of how you could use it and see you know sound creation is, is fun it's interesting it doesn't appeal to everyone you know some people just want to crank crank up an old amp and go straight in the front and i love to do that too but uh at the same time it's interesting to experiment with different sounds you know and that's why i love the fact that boss are continually trying to push this direction it's just cool and unique so uh yeah i'm very happy to be involved with all of this and um as i say the next video hopefully i'll be going a little bit more in depth and giving you a few tips on how to program how to assign the things we've been talking about today like the current number the wave pedal these are some very you know important things so anyway thanks for checking out the video and uh see you soon